What's up, Gun Nation? And back at another one here. Just got back from a ammo hunt all day, finding different rounds. Uh, I got this LTEC ammunition here. This is a 9mm 115 grain. For $17, a box of 50. Nine millimeter, 15 grain, 115 grain, ball ammo. Um, this is ammo that's came out about three years ago. Uh, I picked me up 350 rounds of this. Um, I don't have it all out. This video is initially talking about this, uh, but I just wanted to say a few words about the ammo shortage. Uh, the prices is getting ready to increase according to one source that I went to today. Uh, I wasn't able to confirm anything from any other store business. They didn't know anything about it, but uh, one of them was telling me that the ammo is going to go up 28% by the end of next month. Uh, they say mostly to do with uh, Michael Blue Balls trying to, well, buying Lake City out and trying to get rid of the military contract and trying to stop manufacturing ammo uh, at Lake City. Uh, which is a big producer of military brass, military ammo, uh, and as well as civilian ammo. So that's going to be a big pain in our rear ends uh, if they actually do that. Uh, I haven't checked it out yet. Uh, but this is uh, LTEC ammo. It's 115 grain, 115 grain uh, full metal jacket. They also make a 124 grain uh, hollow point, which is very good ammo. Uh, I'm not sure what the prices are on that. I haven't seen that in a very long time. But this LTEC ammo is a shell shock technology which means if this was the hollow point it would have uh, little grooves right here three of them for the three pedals to open up but this casing right here is made of steel the casing itself is made of steel the backing right here Come on, focus. Right here, this backing right here is your brass, like your nickel-plated brass. So this ammo is the shell shock technology, which is supposed to be lighter than your typical brass rounds, uh, which we've weighed them on scales. Uh, and they are a few ounces, a few grains lighter as a whole bullet than they are a brass case or even a full steel case uh, the backing right here with the shell shock technology is supposed to be uh, more durable for reloading uh, than your regular brass uh, I'm not sure how it's going to do on dies I haven't shot a lot of this ammo uh, I looked back and I found a hundred rounds that I had put back from my old stash because my ammo stash for my 9mm, 223, 40, 45, hell even AK is starting to look like my 22 collection. Different brands, different weights, different boxes, different everything because we have to get what we can get. 
But uh, I've watched people shoot these rims and they are pretty accurate. Uh, they penetrate pretty good. They, pre they penetrate consistently. Uh, even with different velocities out of different barrel lengths. So the shell shock technology rounds pretty good round 17 bucks for a box of 50 of the full metal jackets so i just thought i'd throw that out today guys um if you can find it uh i got this from the center target it's in my local area uh, i'm not sure if it's a big company or not a uh, franchise company or whatever uh, it may be, it may not. I'm sure your other stores may carry that ammo as well. Uh, just check it out. You know, you have to be consistent in this fight. You have to be disciplined in this fight. And if you want your ammo, you must obsess about it, and you will obtain it, and you got to work hard at it, guys. I've been up since 8, 8.30 this morning, and uh, it's around 5, 5.30. And I just got home about an hour, two hours ago, uh, shot a few rounds and started pouring the rain today, so that's another reason I didn't bring out all the ammo score and make a ammo score video today. Because uh, I used to like watching this back when we were hunting our 22s and everything down. Uh, I got motivation by watching people, watching people's videos, uh, watching what they bought. I didn't get butt hurt about it, guys. I understand my finances. I understand my local area you know it's a dog eat dog world out here so if you don't have enough money to go out and buy all the ammo that you can afford that you that you can find you know I understand that guys I don't either I'm not made of money either and uh, God has blessed me uh, especially recently so I'm going to go out and find mine so you better find yours but people that get on here and say well you're the problem well no you're the problem you didn't buy it when the shelves were full and now you're stuck hunting for rounds blaming me for taking all the rounds when well, guys i promise you i don't this ammo right here they had about 1200 rounds they had no no limit on it my pocket had a limit i went out and bought a lot of different rounds today this is not the only gun i have so I have to separate my money, separate my ammo, and buy accordingly. Uh, this is going to be my emergency stash, a new emergency stash right now. Uh, I've sh I bought some Tula today, some steel case, so that's going to be my training ammo. But you know, you guys train, you guys shoot, you're going to have to replenish your stockpile. Rotate it out, guys. Uh, stay in this fight and don't hate on people. If you struggle with bills, you struggle with your finances, get your shit in order, guys. Get your shit in order. Better yourself every day. Find a reason to better yourself every day and grab on to it and get disciplined in what you're doing and stop wasting all your money on other stuff like Netflix and Hulu and uh, YouTube Red and coffees. Maybe cut down on some subscriptions or something. You can find a way to get a few extra bucks to buy a few hundred rounds a month and put back. Especially when ammo is cheap and the shelves are full. So, I work my butt off, you work your butt off and get your ammo. Uh, both ways. So, it's Ammo Wizard, guys. I'll catch you later. Always be prepared for the unknown. And if that day happens, fight like hell and overcome it.